Martin Jetpack is a new type of flying machine, like Airman uh, equipment. This crazy flying contraption is a collaboration by a New Zealand aviation company and one of China's most exciting tech firms, Quangqi. Think that's cool? Quangqi and its scientist founder are just getting started. Ryo Peng Liu is in a remote northwestern corner of China where his team's putting the finishing touches on its newest flying machine. Today's meant to be launch day, but heavy snows set in. It's called the Traveler 2, and it's a giant balloon capable of flying a craft to the edge of the atmosphere. For sure I will be one of the pioneers. So that's why I'm, I'm, I'm very excited that in our age, uh, we can have opportunities to go near space ourselves. In June 2015, the helium-filled Traveler 1 launched from a base in New Zealand and made it 21 kilometers above the Earth into the stratosphere. On board the Traveler 2 will be a tiny passenger, a pig-nosed turtle named Tai Kong Gui, or Space Turtle, chosen as a Chinese symbol of luck. This time, actually, we, are, we also want to test our capability of the environment in near space that can be uh, um, suitable for a human being to go. Our plan is to bring human being to near space uh, before 2020. Liu and his four partners founded Quang Chi in 2010 after they returned from studying abroad. Since then, they've teamed up with scientists from around the world on some fantastical projects, like the Solar Ship, a solar-powered airship that can deliver cargo to remote locations, a powered exoskeleton that boosts human strength, and the cloud, an alternative satellite that hovers above the ground monitoring air pollution, collecting data, and delivering Wi-Fi access. But near space travel is Quang Chi's ultimate ambition. In our idea, if you cannot take the common people to the new attitude, and only very few people can do that, then it's, it's not cool. <laughs> After days of weather delays, it's finally launch time for the Traveler 2, complete with a space turtle. First, the balloon's inflated with helium, then liftoff. But disaster strikes 12 kilometers up, and the craft is forced to make an emergency landing. The team isn't sure why, and no one knows if space turtle survived. The mission might have gone wrong, but that hasn't stopped Chinese media comparing Liu to Elon Musk. Do you see yourself as China's SpaceX? Yeah, we, we, we have some similarity with SpaceX and we have similar uh, uh, situation in China because we are a new type of company. SpaceX is the hero in this field. Liu says Quang Chi still plans to launch the next iteration, the Traveler 3, next year. And he still wants to take humans into near space within a few years.